What's up, as the to start the game here, and today, guys, I'm going to be making a wish list for the next five figures I want for the Dragon Stars. Now, if you guys don't know what a Dragon Star is, let's get straight into this video. But before I do swipe onto the next slide, please give this a like or a dislike. I'm free to your opinions, guys, so please comment down below why you like this video or why you didn't like this video, please, because it doesn't really help if I just get a like or a dislike. Yes, it shows you that you like the video and you don't like the videos. But then, please drop a comment so I know what you guys don't like about the videos and what you like about the videos so I can progress and make more better videos. Right? That's out of the way. Now, let's scroll on to the next slide, which is... These are the Dragon Stars. They came out in uh, America at first, I believe. Bandai America released them. And uh, I remember making a rant videos on these kind of figures because the UK... Didn't get these at first. It took us almost a year and a half to get these figures, which was just stupid. You know, why not bring out the Dragon Stars when Dragon Ball Super was out in you, yeah, out in the UK and different other countries and that kind of stuff. So yeah, I've got Goku and I've got Vegeta, but I haven't got Freezer. Uh, Freezer's extraordinary, stupid how much he is. He's like sixty to seventy quid, which is ridiculous. The early twenty pound figures, nah, that's ridiculous. But uh, yeah, these are what you can get in the wave now. Look at some of these figures, like, I've got Black Goku, and I've got the Ultra Instinct, Ultra Instinct Goku. Now, the trunks, people didn't really like the trunks, so I'll move my face out of the way so you guys can see the trunks, there it is. But, yeah. Now you get a brief idea what Dragon Stars are. They're not SH figure arts, but they ain't that pricey. So, it's a good figure to get, you know what I mean? They're quite articulated as well, so, you're not missing out on much. Okay, and this is more from the line. Now, you guys can get a brief idea of what we're dealing with here, okay? Alright, my first figures that I'd want is a Raditz, because he started Dragon Ball Z off from the very beginning. Without Raditz, we wouldn't have had Dragon Ball Z until a long, long, long time, and it would have been down a lot more different, like. Now, the reason why I've got Turles in this picture for is because we've had a movie character before in the Dragon Stars, which was a... Broly, the original DBZ Broly, which is a builder figure, which they should bring up more builder figures because you just get an extra figure. Why not? It's awesome. And also because we're getting a uh, cooler uh, coming out in the next wave, I believe. So it's from a movie as well. So why not bring out more movie characters like Turles? And I've always liked Turles. You know, he was the first real evil Goku, first before we had uh, Goku Black. So yeah, why not? I always like these, the, the cool sayings, we need to have more sayings and more in-depth sayings because why not, this is Dragon Ball Z, you know, we like the sayings, I like the sayings that are cool anyway, so, and plus, we really haven't had a Turles figure, I don't think we ever have, we had one, I think, I, I believe it was, but it was a Jax, I believe, I'm not really entirely sure, and we have had Raditz figures, but we haven't had a Raditz figure in a very long time, and his hair just looked ridiculous in them, and I know he's got that wild, funky hair, and that kind of stuff, but... We need a new Raditz figure because he started this DBZ stuff off. Alright, next one. Oh. Now, I would like to see a base Broly rather because we've, like I said, put in the beginning of the video, we've got DBZ Broly and we've got Doobie, DBS Super, or well, Dragon Ball Z Super Broly as well. Sorry, I'm just excited. Now, we have got the Broly figures, both Broly figures, but we've got them in their bulky forms. Why not having the restrained forms? Because we barely get a Broly in a restrained form, as especially Z Broly as well. And the SH figure arts have brought out the uh, Broly on the right as well. So why not have a Dragon Stars in the collection? It'd be awesome. It honestly would. It's, it really would. And we've never had a power down base Broly as well. We've only had him in like, resin. And they're ridiculous amounts of money. No articulated figure, really. If uh, we have had an articulated base body, then please comment down below. But, yes. Next slide. Super 17. Now, I know I'm going to get smashed on for this. Because I know a lot of people do not like GT. And I'm with you that I'm, I'm with you on that, guys. GT was rubbish. It really was. Don't get me started on Pan. She was such a nose. Grandpa. 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 I'll oh, piss off. You know what I mean? We just don't want that nauseating stuff. We had to put up with GT and Z and, you know, Dragon Ball. 
and Super. We don't want her in GT, so get lost. But instead, what do we get? We get Pan, who is even more annoying. You know what I mean? Now, I understand, guys, GT isn't liked, and it is liked. It's one of them. It's, it's hated more than it's liked. But you can't deny, look how cool Super 17 looks. Now, we've had a Jax figure of Super 17, but he just looked way anorexic in my eyes. Now, I know in GT, he's portrayed to be a very lanky character. I know he is that, but, you know, at least, come on, put a bit of build on him. I know he's lanky, but he has got a bit of lean to him as well, so please give him that. Don't just leave him skinny, like uh, Jax fig as well. You know what I mean? We need a Super 17. Now, I know Dead Screen's Customs made a custom of Super 17, and his custom was absolutely brilliant. See what I mean? Now, I'm not bashing on your custom, Dead Green's Customs. I'm really not, because it's awesome. I'd never be able to make that, you know what I mean? You're an amazing customizer. I don't mean the brown nose yet, but it's the truth. But, uh, why not have an official Super 17? You know what I mean? That would be awesome. I imagine if you could take off his hand as well. It would be even more cool because you can even put a blast effect on it. Which Dragon Ball Z, uh, Super, you know, Dragon Styles could do. It would be something amazing because we don't get, you know, blast effects in SH figure arts, which you think you would. But we've only had Kamehameha's and a Death Ball, I believe, and that's about it, you know what I mean? SH figure arts, bring out some blast effects properly, okay? Instead, we have people have to make their own. You know, we would like legit ones, please. Thank you very much. But yeah, please. This is my wish list. Super 17. Most important. I just absolutely love it. You can't say GT wasn't good for it. It's, you know, Super 17 and SSJ4. And now, the next figure I would like is someone I love dearly. You'll see. Margin Vegeta, I think Margin Vegeta is so cool. Now, I know it's just Vegeta, a bit bulked up, a bit of veins, and an M on his head. But, I don't know what it is, I just absolutely love Margin Vegeta. I know we got an SH Figure Arts version of him, but... Whew, have you seen the price of that dude? He's expensive, expensive, expensive. Now, I do not want to pay for a figure that's, what, like, you know, 80 to 100, and even beyond that as well. You know what I mean? In price, it's ridiculous. And yes, people could say to me, why don't you just get like a bootleg version of him? The bootleg version is horrible of him. As you can understand, it's a bootleg. Now, to be honest, some bootlegs can be decent. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Like, JP Toys uh, made a video on the Great Saiyan Man. And that was not a bad, you know, bootleg. But the Margin Vegeta bootleg is terrible. You know what I mean? So... I would like a Dragon Stars Margin Vegeta. It'd just be cool. Imagine posting them, Goku and Vegeta in a battle. You can't deny the Margin Vegeta of his Goku fight was not amazing. But was we always wanted a Margin? Well, not even Margin Vegeta. We always wanted a Vegeta of his Goku. We saw it in the first, you know, season, uh, in the Saiyan Saga. But that was it. And then you know, two sagas later, we get it again. And that needs to happen. It's always going to be one of the things that's out of our cl clutches. You know, we're never going to get another Vegeta V's, you know, Goku fight. Unless we get one in Super. And Super's going to be starting soon. So, fingers crossed on that one, guys. And I know the next one you guys are going to hate. Oh, you got two Vegetas here. But, you know what I mean? It's my list. So, be gone. Alright, the next on the list is a Baby Vegeta. Now, it's another design I like from GT. I'll be honest, GT had some good designs, Super 17, SSJ4, Goku and Vegeta. And it had, you know, Super 17 and Bay Vegeta. I don't know if I mentioned that, guys, but I'm excited. I got modelled up. And, you know, it just brought out some cool designs. You can't lie. I made Shenron, you know, and all the uh, other dragons and that kind of stuff. That was cool. Now, GT had its lets down. That could be for another video, you know what I mean? Or you can look at different people's videos and why GT was so rubbish. Now, you can't deny that does not look cool. Bay Vegeta looks cool. You can't deny it, you know what I mean? He looks awesome. Now, I know we've already got a figure of him, but that was a Jax figure, and I got a Jax uh, Bay Vegeta. I got it for £18. I grabbed that up quicker than hot sandwiches. Now... I've always wanted a baby Vegeta figure, and I almost got one, but it went out of stock before I got my money. 
But imagine if we got a, another baby Vegeta. I could put my both baby Vegetas together. And plus, we've already got SSJ4, uh, Goku and Vegeta in the Dragon Star. So why not complete the set with a baby Vegeta? You know what I mean? We've already got two GT figures in there. Why not add baby Vegeta? Why not? Now we have had some custom uh, baby Vegetas from the Dragon Stars, and they look cool, but they just don't do it for me. I'll be honest, guys. I'm sorry the people that have made a baby Vegeta, but I don't know. Don't get me wrong. People have made some awesome customs on a baby Vegeta, but they just don't give me that warm, fuzzy feeling. You know what I mean? Like oh, I really love that figure. That figure's awesome. Now. It could be awesome if we got a Dragon Stars Baby Vegeta. And you could put it between your Goku SSJ4 and your Baby Vegeta. And it would just, you can make a diorama and it would just match so much. It would be so, so awesome to have. So that, guys, was my wish list for the next Dragon Stars I would like. The five Dragon Stars I would like. Now, I know you people might not agree with me. Like, oh, I don't like your list. But I'm just going to come up with it straight, guys. I don't give a crap. It was my wish list. And it's what I want on the uh, Dragon Stars to come out. Now, they probably won't come out. But it will be awesome f to get them, wouldn't it? You know what I mean? Now, um, I know people are going to get rambly with me. And say, why have a Baby Vegeta? And then have Margin Vegeta? So, for that, guys. I will add a special bonus on what Dragon Star I would like next on this wish list. So, if you think about it, guys. you got a bonus watching this video, you know what I mean, and the next Dragon Star I would like is most likely a, oh, that is quite hard actually, I probably want, uh, I was going to say Scouter Vegeta, but that's another Vegeta, you know what I mean, um, I would like probably Brojack to start the movies off, or a Emperor Slug as well, you know what I mean, yeah, probably Emperor Slug, I do like Emperor Slug because he's just, it shown it showed me the false Super Saiyan, which I know was just a basic design of Goku, but I absolutely love the uh, false Super Saiyan. You know what I mean? And if we could get a Emperor Slug, and then someone could customize a full Super Saiyan Goku, you've got that set again. You know what I mean? And that's what people want. These what people use their figures for, you know, to propose them and that kind of stuff. And it would just be cool to have an Emperor Slug. So that's my pick for the movie character. Now, if you guys say, well, okay, if you didn't have a movie character, I'll put an extra bonus in there for you guys, you know what I mean? Don't say I don't give you anything. So, the next character I would like from Dragon Ball Z Super, I would like a Frost figure. Because we've got Frieza, we're going to have a Frost, and I think Frost looks pretty darn cool. You can't deny it doesn't look cool. With all that, he's like poison shit in his arm, that kind of stuff, that was pretty cool. Or, if, you know what I mean? Like, that's. What I'd pick, yeah, it's gonna have to be Frost for me. I would say Jiren, but I'm not really a fan of Jiren, and that's a, th a thing I will nitpick with Super. I just don't like Super's character designs. Jiren, he's not really good. I don't like the Zenos, I just don't like how they're kids and that kind of stuff, and I just don't like a lot of the gods, so I wouldn't bring any gods into the Dragon Z Super as well. I just don't like the gods. Beerus is okay. You know what I mean? Because it reminds you of, uh, of Egyptians and their cats and that kind of stuff. So it made sense. You know what I mean? And because Egyptians are meant to have all this godly power and that kind of stuff. And this afterlife stuff. It made sense. You know what I mean? But having an elephant or having like something else. I was, doesn't, wasn't really a fan of it. You know what I mean? So yeah. Please. Drowns is super. Please please please. And you've got no excuse without Toriyama. You made uh, Dragon Quest, and look at some of the Dragon Quest characters as well. They look awesome, some of the character designs. And look at GT as well. You didn't even make that as well. You made uh, some designs. You helped make Super Saiyan 4, and look at that, how that turned out. That turned out pretty cool. Now, I can't bash on your Super Saiyan Guard or your Ultra Instinct, because they do look pretty darn cool. But we've already, we've already had them characters. They're Goku and Vegeta, you know what I mean? But please, you know, bring out some decent characters. Some good-looking characters instead of these funky... Monaka character, you know what I mean? We don't want them all. Rebunion. That was a silly character. I don't know if I pronounced her name properly, but I do not care. She's such an awful character. No one likes her. No one wants her. So, you know what I mean? I know, sorry to end on a negative note, guys, but you know what I mean? I just want Super to have some good character designs, and hopefully, on the new season, that's what we'll be getting. So, 
let's go from what the very beginning on my Dragon Star list. Okay, so Goku, not Goku, I should know this right now. Turles and Raditz for the first pick, but I would like Raditz overall over Turles. Broly, Z, and Super. I would rather pick Z because I don't know, I just like Z a lot more than Super because Super's got like a bad taste in my mouth with character designs and all that kind of stuff. Number three, Super 17. You can't lie, that design looks pretty awesome. And again, I will touch on Dead Dreams Customs. Custom of Super 17. That looked absolutely amazing. I think he did that for Hot Cheeto Fingers as well. So, yeah. Please, please, please. We need a Super 17. So, number four, Margin Vegeta. You can't lie, Margin Vegeta looks cool. And the fight between Goku and Vegeta was amazing. Now, last but not least... Number 5, Baby Vegeta. And my special pick for you guys, my movie character will be Emperor Slug. And my official canon character would be Frost as well. So I hope you guys did enjoy my wish list for, you know, the Dragon Stars. And you know what guys, comment down below your 5 wish list for your next Dragon Stars that you would like to see as well. So comment down below, you know what I mean. And don't forget to give this a like and a dislike. But please drop a comment down below what you liked about the video and what you didn't like about the video. You know what I mean? Because I can understand what you guys like about my videos and what you don't like about my videos. So keep that in mind, guys. You know, yes, for kids. And don't be worried. I'm not going to buy it if you comment down below. All right? Comment down whatever you want. Now, before I wrap up this video completely, please check out my Instagram and my Twitter. I don't really post on Twitter, but check my Instagram out because you can see me behind YouTube and you can have a look in behind YouTube of my life and that kind of stuff. And if you follow me, you can look at my stories and you can see when I've uploaded because when I do upload, YouTube doesn't like to, you know, tell anyone, okay, sort of a game's uploaded. So on Instagram, all you got to do is look at the stories and you'll be able to tell, okay, sort of a game's uploaded because I will, trust me, I will. Let you know when I've uploaded on Instagram. Well, on YouTube rather. And I'll put a story saying I've uploaded and that kind of stuff. So yeah, follow my Instagram. It's mega important, okay? It's not so I can get likes and followers and that kind of stuff. It's just so you s heads out there know when I've uploaded. Because YouTube is a naughty, naughty, naughty boy. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Till then guys, I'll see you later. Yes, sir, kids. Yeah.